This video is created for informational and entertainment purposes only. Welcome back to a new video. Saffron is back in today's video and in this particular video, we will going to look at WinLater version 9.0, which is the new West emulator till now. And I will going to show you some secret settings that I use to get up to 60 FPS in my all PC game that I usually play in WinLater. And as you know that in a previous video, I tried WinLater version 9.0 with some awkward settings and I was getting, you know, uh, 7 to 10 FPS in GTA 5. But then after I researched about the WinLater 9.0, which is the newest emulator, and then I saw some of the very secret settings that that is so helpful for you to get higher FPS in your phone. By the way, in this video, the gameplay that you are watching is a recorded gameplay. It means when you record, when I record any gameplay in my phone, the FPS usually drop. So off recording, you usually get high FPS and on recording you get less fps so you have to make sure this thing right so you guys has usually play off recording right to uh, do some missions and to do every particular thing in your games so you usually get high fps when you try new win later 9.0 and since i'm using poco f6 it of course very powerful device comes with 8s gen 3 but when you record any gameplay the fps drops right so you have to make sure this thing so you can see the screenshot that i'm uh, showing you here it's uh, giving me around uh, 60 fps of recording it's just a screenshot guys and the original gameplay you can see on your screen but it is recorded gameplay so you might see some fps drops but no problems we are going to see the different settings in this particular video before we start let me tell you about our new youtube channel which i just started some days ago in this channel we will going to upload gta san andreas gta related content for for android devices and this channel will going to be for emulation and cloud gaming category so i hope that you will be satisfied with me because as you know that in so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe this channel and subscribe that channel also if you are jdi enthusiast and if you are uh, android user and you and you don't have any pc and you still want to enjoy high graphics game and modes in your phone you can subscribe both the channels and also turn on the bell notification icon for the future update so now let's start with the new win later 9.0 so i turn on my win later version 9.0 and now we are ready to see all the settings which are the secret settings right so okay we have open this settings bar now let's just make sure that your preferred input should be at auto and auto most of the users are using at auto that that is perfectly fine but the upcoming settings will blow up your mind guys because very helpful for you to play games at 60 fps now box 64 version again 3.0.3.1 uh, and your box 64 preset should be at performance one which is uh, the duplication of uh, the performance and you just have to click on this duplicate button click on the edit and make it to zero uh, got it now click on the ok and we have created the setting simple now let me show you the container setting also click on the uh, uh, edit oh, okay so if you are opening this uh, for the first time you have to click on this plus section to you know open your new container since i have created a new container i just wanted to have to click on this edit button and now uh, you can see here the custom resolution the custom resolution part is uh, optional for uh, all the guys right so i have set it to the cu uh, custom resolution you can also set uh, to the 720p and uh, uh, below right and also you can copy this uh, screen size right okay now the very important setting which is a turnip at reno right you don't have to go with the universal vortex right it's a uh, very compatible but it's not uh, good performance wise so you have to select turnip at reno click on the settings and you have to choose 24.3.0 if you don't have 24.3.0 uh, you can download click on the download button and you can download this right so since we already have this 24.3.0 you have to click on the sync every frame got it now what you have to do is to go here and now click this switch this uh, video memory size to 500 got it 
फाइव हंड्रेड शुड बी वीडियो मेमोरी साइज एंड या दैट्स इट नाउ लेट्स गो टू द एनवायरमेंट वेरिएबल्स नाउ हेयर वी डोंट हैव टू डू एनी थिंग बिकॉज हैज यू नो दैट शो एफ पी एस ऑप्शन इज हेयर सो वी डोंट नीड टू एड एनी अदर हुड बट या इट्स ऑप्शनल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड एनी एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट हुड यू कैन एड now uh we will go at advance and has usual we have to select the performance one has which you duplicated right and now click the startup selection should be uh, aggressive now we are ready and make it windows version to windows 11 okay and select all this processor affinity blocks now we have created this container and now what you have to do is to open your container and you know make shortcut of your games so since i have already created my uh, gta 5 launcher shortcut so i just simply click on the play but before let me check the setting if the settings are applied or not so i have a uh, custom resolution this 13600 into 768 which is also optional right um click on the atari driver which is 24.3.0 we are good to go now and oh my god okay the very important setting that i forgot to show you we have to click on the edit option now uh let's go here and d x v k now uh it's very important option to set right we're going to set to this uh 1.10.3 1 okay now if you don't have this version you can also click on the download and uh, download this d x v k now since i am i already have this version i want download anything and yeah rest of the setting will be the same uh, default now click on the okay uh, yeah so we have uh, created this and let me go to the shortcut now click on this c dot settings and now we have set it to the version okay 1.10.3 now we are good to go let's check the advanced settings okay now uh, here uh, you have to choose your controls profile if you don't have any profile you can choose virtual gamepad it's so completely optional but yeah for the setup purpose you have to do this now we have created the all the settings uh now we are ready to play games let's try gta 5 launcher click on the play button and we will going to try gta 5 so uh, to get the 60 fps you have to do these graphic settings now uh, what you have to do is to click on the restore default right click on the enter yeah now uh, you have to click on the space and click on the enter to apply the settings but since uh, i already did so i want do again now you just have to go here the screen type your screen type to get the 60 fps especially uh, your screen type should be at full window full screen basically right and the resolution that i'm going to choose is 13600 uh, 66 into 768 now uh, click on this space button to apply these settings and click enter now uh, so since i already did right now now what i'm going to do is to click on this skip button and now you will see that uh we will get 44 fps like up to uh, 60 fps when you are in like situation where no one is uh, no one here and since i am doing recording on my phone so i'm getting little bit less fps but in your phone you may get up to 60 fps or up to 50 fps so it is the significant improvement that you have to do when you just open your game you have to click on the setting and change these settings and don't forget to do this step because if you don't do this step you won't get 60 fps or 50 40 fps right so you have to do this whether you are using low end phone or good phone so make sure to do this but anyway i hope you found this video so helpful and if you found this video so helpful make sure to like this video and also subscribe the channel the most important thing that you can do to support me is to press is to turn on the bell notification icon for the future update because according to the youtube statistics most of you are not yeah, turned on our bell notification for the channel most of you just subscribe to channel but you don't turn on 
our bell notification icon to all when you do this no you will get all the future update that will going to upload in the future so make sure to do this and i'll meet you in the next particular video till then the mr sephron yt from chinese sony is signing out